Right, so we go back to our panels, and you've got Beacon of Light here and Beacon of Faith there. So where do I want it? Let's go here, Bouquet, where's the Bacons? Bacons, Bacons, Bacons. There we go. So you notice this is the Bouquet we've made earlier. Now what this does is, in spot 1, it's going to check if I have either Beacon of Faith or Beacon of Light on this. So let's have this, right? Disable this. Beacon of Light, right? Now, from the previous setup, Beacon of Faith should appear here. But now it appears in the top left corner as well. They both appear in the same place. It only appears right here because I forgot to disable it here. Empty. Boom. So, Faith, Light. We don't need a different spot anymore. Um, let's actually go back to the bouquets and give this a flat. And let's give this a flat. There we go. That's one. That's two. Perfect. So we've got that set up. Um, slot two, which is on the other side, is where my eternal flame appears. Perfect. Um, and that's pretty much it. I don't really care about the rest, except for in slot four, where I would like it to be the tank cooldowns. Now, tank cooldowns is a bouquet here. Uh, oh, my, my apologies, I've got the hiccups. Um, tank cooldowns extended, which pretty much just covers all the tank cooldowns. I'm going to move up Hand of Sacrifice to the very top, because for me, that's what I want to see. But if your tank ever pops Bone Shield, Icebone Fortitude, Guardian of the Ancient Kings, Last Stand, you'll see it. It will appear um, on the frames in the bottom right corner. So there's that. Back to panels we go. So we've got text options here, and which is a timer. Now, because um, Eternal Flame will appear in the top right corner, I want it to be centered um, to the left. So over here, let's make it a bit bigger. There we go. Make this Ubuntu. Boom. Okay, so now you're thinking, what's going on? Now, what you're going to see is um, there's going to be a little block here for Eternal Flame, but there's no timer on it. So let's get an Eternal Flame going. There is a timer on it. I am full of shit. Right, so it must be on by default. Uh... Okay, yeah, it is on. Okay. Um, beacon, don't care, don't care. Uh, 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 there we go. Flash. So, what this is, is um, I don't care, beacon has no cooldown. But what this does is um, do your uh, hots have a timer on them. And if they do, what's the color? So, because my Eternal Flame does have a, a timer on it, I would like it to show me in seconds how much longer it's got left on it, right? Um, you can select here. This would be um, the full duration, so the full 30 seconds will be counting down. If I don't select this, however, the last 10 seconds will start counting down. So let's get a 2 stack going on here. There we go. And this should not be counting down. It'll start counting down in about five seconds. So you'll see. Let's wait, let's wait, let's wait. And boom. There we go. It'll start counting down. That is all I want. Voodoo options. Um, on six, what we disabled earlier, bull icon. There we go. It is back. Woohoo. Um, the bacons, I want it to be a bit bigger. Okay, that's a lot better. Is my thingy bigger now? Yeah, okay. 
So that's a lot better. So we've got this working right now. Um, let's have a look how it looks. So this looks pretty neat. Like one panel is pretty much done. I don't care about the hot bars. I don't care about raid icons. Um, however, there's where's the healing thing? I don't care about incoming heals. No, don't care. Don't care. Let's. I can't reload because I'm rendering. Um, there shouldn't be any healing text. However, it seems to be a bit bugged. There's still a little bit of healing text here, but um, it'll fade out in a second. It's not updating, so I ha don't have any new healing text incoming. I've disabled that. So we're good. We good. So that's that done. So we got the color set. We got everything set. Now states. What can and can't a paladin cleanse? So off the top of my mind, I cannot cle cleanse the seizes. I can't cleanse magic. I can't cleanse the disease. Hmm, hold on. It's like this, isn't it? So I can do magic, I can do poison, I can do disease, if I'm correct. Uh, cleanse. Poison, disease, and magic. Okay. All the rest, I don't care about. However, if someone gets poisoned, uh, their entire frame will change to this. If they get a disease they'll change to this and if they got a magic debuff it'll change to this so I'll know that those are targets I need to dispel anomalies so if someone's dead I want to make sure they're really dead so this, they just appear as extremely dead to me so background is black text is white so someone who's dead will appear as of course no one's dead in this frame this it'll appear like this Someone who's offline, who gives a shit about them? So, completely transparent. There we go. So, we don't know where they are. I don't know, need to know where they are. There we go. Modes. Don't care about shield bar. Do care about if you're out of range, however. So, out of range, can I change this? Yes, opacity 0, text opacity 100. Um, actually, let's have the text color set to red. Okay. So opacity will be zero, and if they're out of range, the text will be should be red. No, nope. God damn it. There we go. Okay, that's a lot better. So if they're out of range, text is red. Boom. Got that done powers this is where I change the color of the power should you want it to uh, don't care too much about it I don't even have power bars enabled hots we've gone over this hots number two I'll be honest I have no idea what this does so I'm just gonna go like this class colors eh. raid icons don't care targets don't care so that's that panel done now let's hop over to our tank frame I should be in here and then select main tanks. Okay, there we go. Um, pretty much the same. I will enlarge the tank frames a little bit, which is why I did them separately. Um, so bar height is 40. Uh, they're supposed to be one row. Loose. Background is. FF 343434 solid color solid black there we go uh, sort by unit ID that's correct sizing is correct, bar is correct flat where's flat? there's flat um, bu -bu 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 class color don't care about your damage flash don't need headers, don't want to see your targets Text in the middle, hit points missing. Whoa, oh my god, that scared me. That is, uh, that's my uh, video editing software telling me that the rendering's done. <laughs> Whew. Okay, so Ubuntu, there we go, we got that set up. 
Um, hot icons, so same thing. Bacon's eternal flame. I don't need to know your roll icon because I know you're a tank. You're in the tank uh, section, so you know. Boom. Hot bars, don't care. Misc, raid icon, don't care. Sizing, let's have a bit of X spacing. This seems about correct. Yeah, okay. Let's keep it like that. So, let's test it. Can we have a new test? Okay, so that's a lot better. So this is what it looks like right now. I kind of like it. I'm going to move um, this one a bit though. A bit out to the side. Move, test. Alright. Well, that's looking pretty good. I like it. So we've got our main tank set up over here, and our raid is set up over here. Um, am I using class colors for this? Panels. Bars. Class color. Solid. Yeah, okay. I'll keep it on a solid. And okay, so that's good. Uh, I like that. Panel three, however, panels. Panel three. Your class. Oh, I can't. I can't do it separately. No, I can't do it separately. Oh well. Don't care. This is how it'll have to be. Um, there's a way to hide anything that is. Empty. Okay. Empty. Hide one solo. I do need to find a way to make it that the hot icons have a nice border around it. So that's probably in my bouquets for this one. Flat. Um, don't care about others. How do I give this a nice thing? I don't care. I don't know. Let's just keep it like this. This is how it'll have to be. Um, so that's my voodoo setup, I think. Let's go back in here. Yeah, it does appear to be okay. Yeah. So tools. Um, this means um, you can set this up to uh, trigger on certain spec changes. Uh, you can set it up to only trigger on uh, certain group layouts. So this is what you do. This is why you make your profiles. We've seen all of this. And move is pretty much, you know, you move the fucker. Um, the background to my tank panel does seem to be not okay. Yeah, this needs to be F F three four three four three four. Yeah, it's a lot better. It, it looked a bit iffy. Um, that spacing is off. How do I get this to go back here? God damn it. There we go. Okay, panel 3, sizing. And the X gap needs to be 7. Okay, that's a lot better. God damn it, that was a lot of, uh, that was a lot of fiddle, fiddly work. But we've got it done. So we've got Voodoo set up. A. And now we're supposed to hide this when we're solo. Because we don't want to see any of this when we're solo. Okay. Hey, why are you still here? Yeah, there. Okay. So, we're getting there. So, our cast bars. Uh, I got the wrong color for my cast bar. Casting. There you go. Okay, that's a lot better. So, what have we done? We have set up DBM, we've set up quartz, we've set up bartender, we have set up shadowed unit frames, and we've set up our voodoo. There you go. Good job, boss.